Hey guys, welcome to my new car vlog, Maximum Exposure. My name is Rob and my goal of this vlog is to dive into the whole car culture. Like I know about cars, uh, I'm a car guy in a sense, I work on cars. I do roadside assistance actually, I don't, I'm not a mechanic. But the whole idea behind the vlog is to get into the whole car culture, um, learn about my car, because I've had this car um, about eight months. Last August I got this car, and I really don't know about the car, I just drove it. So this whole vlog is about me learning, my journey of me learning about my car, and also learning about the car culture. So all things being equal, we're going to do a couple mods to the car, we're going to go to car shows, and we're going to, you know, like I said before, learn my car. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you come along for the ride. Thanks. other cars that's worth so much more money right that can't do what this car could do guaranteed and I don't want to call start calling names because I don't want anybody to feel offended but the base on this car in New England in the Connecticut tri-state area is like this model about 36, 37, and then whatever taxes and whatever else they charge that will bring it up to like, but in this price range, it's, I mean, I can't think of anything else to beat it, you know, uh, I mean, what's in the category, like uh, Avalon, a Camry, a, a Honda Accord, they can't, they can't. I'm sorry, but <laughs> they can. This is in a, in, in this, in this um, price bracket and this size vehicle, this car, the Maxima, is in a league by itself. Very aggressive looking, can't be beat. I'm sorry. I love this car. Listen to that. Ah. Can't be beat. absolutely worth the price it's worth the price performance is good the handling is good you almost forget that you're in a four-door car you know like you have to remind yourself that this is a four-door car and it's very very aggressive looking it handles great it's I mean it's just there's no words. I mean, the only way is to actually drive this thing yourself. But outside of that, this car is amazing. I mean, it goes from like zero to a hundred in a in a in a blink. You know, it's it's so quick. You know, I you know, it's three. It's just three hundred horsepower. It's not like 
five or six or whatever hundred horsepower but for 300 horsepower the way this car makes you feel and the response to you hitting that pedal amazing if you could get one get a maxima in this category if you're thinking about getting like a a maxima a camry a honda accord and you want like a a sport kind of car you know, they call it the four-door sports car. Uh, I, I, you know, I wouldn't go as far as to say, "Wow, it's like a sports car," but I could tell you that it has it has a lot of sports car traits. You know, when you drive this thing, you don't feel like you're driving a big vehicle. Like this car drives. Only word I could think of is amazing. It drives amazing. And this is the SV. Like, this is not like the SR or... Which, you know, I don't really think you need a S SR per se. You get the paddle shifters and everything. Um, depends on what you like, but... This car drives great. You're fully... You're comfortable. You know, you're not uncomfortable. The seats are great. The handling is great. I mean, you get the best of both worlds, if you ask me, you know? And I've had a lot of cars. I've had over, give or take, 56 cars, five, six, of all models, BMWs, you name it. I've had it, for the most part. You know, not the supercars, obviously, but like, in the re the regular cars, I've had, you know, I've had over, give or take, 56 cars. So I, I, I know, you know, on, on average what the average car drives like, and I could tell you that this car cut above the rest. Cut above the rest. If you like, you know, performance, it's a cut above the rest. Yeah, and this, I like the trim that it has because a lot of them have the wood trim and I don't like the wood look. This has like a platinum kind of trim, which I really like. And you know, it's not overdone. It's nicely done, very tastefully done. And that's what I like. Wow, listen to that, whoa, listen to that. This car is a good way to get a ticket. If you want a ticket, get a Maxima. You want a ticket you get a maximum this car is awesome drives great you know it's no lamborghini it's no but you get the best of both worlds you know you get the performance uh you're able to take your family around you know it's four doors it's it's a wonderful car like i have no regrets and i've had this car since eight august 2017 this is actually a 2017.5, they call it, the model, because this was made actually in the mid of 2017. So I've had it since August 2017, and today is um, April 6th, I believe, 2018. So not even a year yet, but no regrets, no regrets. Like this car, it drives great, it performs well, it handles well um, and it has every option every option every option that that you I mean there's a couple of options in a in another another video that I'll talk about that it you know it's missing that would have been nice if it was there but uh, I'll talk about that in another video and like I said in my videos to come I'm gonna be doing car shows mods just diving into the whole car culture because I have no clue about the car culture. I'm just now trying to get into what it is to be involved in the culture of cars. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, share if you like the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good day.